okay so what we'll be doing today is we'll create a movie pi or we can say a video editor with python so let's see what we what i have created so i created this gui okay sample dot m k v and what we want to do we want to trim convert and what is the starting point so what i did was let's say this is a video hmm let's say this is a video and what we want to do is we want to trim it from here from 27 seconds to uh let's say let's make it a small from here 27 seconds to 1 and 1 minute and 11 seconds okay let's do it and where it is where is our editor yes there it is so from the starting point was 27 seconds and end point was 1 minutes and 11 seconds so let's edit so we can see it is being edited here we can open in the terminal yes so here it is it is editing so by the time it edits we'll see what is happening in the script so if you have watched or if you are family familiar with tikenter or familiar with tikenter and movie pi if you are not familiar with movie pi let's watch my video i have created two videos on movie pi you can open the playlist in my channel and now let's focus on the script i have created a script actually i don't want to explain everything in detail if you want me and then i will on then only i will do it so let's see a brief overview of what what i what we did here i imported tikenter and important libraries what we want is then this is the object we created and in the main loop we wrote our interface we wrote our gui we gave it a title geometry entry field where we entered the path to the video that we want to edit so next next what we did here these are the operations will by the time will improve it it is the baseline model we can say it is the base editor it is the starting point and we'll build it we'll develop it if you have any suggestions if you want to improve the if you want any improvement in this code if you have any better way to present this interface if you want to improve the goi you can suggest it i will put this code on the github okay so next what we did here is we declared an option menu in the root the operations are these operation is operation operation is uh okay 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 so these are the options and these are the options and this is the operation a particular operation from these options <laughs> i get myself confused okay so this is the button we can say convert doesn't make any sense but anyways so this button what is the command what we want to do with this when we click this we do this what is this this is we now we have the input file what is the input file from here we access the input file by this method entry field dot get so here is the entry field that we created where we inputted the file that we want to edit and then the output file i created it in this format because in the what is this because it doesn't overlap with any other file name so i what what i did was i took the from date time imported date time and then i uh, took the current time and formatted into the format of 
year, month, date, hour, minute, seconds, and then extension icon can hit it to it. And printing this is for the logging purpose. We can remove it. And then what I s declared was if the operation is trim, I hard coded it. If the operation is trim, what we want is we want a starting point and we want to receive input of the what will be the ending point of the video and then uh, edit button and in the command what we want is we want to apply this method trim and what is this method is pointing to <coughs> here I declared a trim method and what is the parameters input file and output file these are the names of the input file and output file name and the starting point and the ending point so let's see what's in there I think I have created the video uh, explaining this or either it was about concatenation of video I don't remember but anyways let's see what we did here the starting point see when we access the variables when we access what we inputted in these entry fields so it will be in the format of strings and now we want to convert it into a tuple why tuple because when we declare the file this is this will be the part to our input file and then we will apply the subclip operation and these this subclip operation takes two parameters starting point t time start and time end and it should be in the format of tuple like uh, we can say we will say our minute and seconds so it will be in this format this is not visible okay so it should be in the format of r minutes and second if you want only second then we can only type 5 so this is the this will be the format so that's why we convert it here into the tuple we split it with comma and then convert it into a float then we write a new file and the name will be the output path that is here here we declared and let's see what in the GUI yes this will be the input path or output output name is okay 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 I made a mistake so this will be the output name output name is the time this is the date month year month date hours minutes and seconds okay let's see this is the output file okay so we can see this is the trimmed version of the original video which is this so I think this is all that's all nothing is left okay we did everything and slowly we'll build upon it we'll improve it and let's see how advanced we can make it if you have any suggestions please leave it down in the comments i will post the script or github link of in the description anything else is there anything left i think not if if yes tell me in the comments or in my git on my github page i don't know i don't know how to what do we say it i don't know i think it is called fork or anyways you can suggest you can suggest me in the comments if you want if you want to improve you can try it at home okay that's enough that's enough for today thank you